I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office Teardown Lab. I have received a package and this package was sent to me unbeknownst to me so I wasn't uh, expecting it but I can tell you what it is. It, uh, someone's, I think in fact it was our good old friend Brian Jones Power Crazy, although it's spelled Pover Crazy on uh, Twitter. And uh, he sent me these because, of course, he was very annoyed by my previous techniques of using things like this to scratch PCBs off. And it's a set of three brass steel fiberglass scratch brush pen pencils. And he spent a whole four pounds on that. Thank you very much. That's very much appreciated. And you can hear, by the way, I've still got a bit of a cold. But we're going to have a, a play with a bit of PCB to just show show the boys and girls at home what they do. And I can't believe I haven't uh, treated myself to some of these. So it's it's really amazing to finally get some. And when I say finally get some, I mean I've never, ever owned a pair of these or set of these. So there we have three different ones. I don't know if they're actually... I don't know how they actually work, to be honest with you. It's been a while since I've seen them, but I think you twist it. Oh, look, there you go. You twist it, and something comes out at the end. So we'll zoom in on that after I just unwrap these three, and then we can see what the difference is between them and how we might want to use them. So I'm going to start with the yellow. Old yellow. Twisty, twisty. Quite hard twisting it on the flat, actually. I'm going to just pick it up slightly. So that's a brass brush. So I can't remember the, the qualities of these things. Brass is quite good, I think, because it doesn't stain or it's a bit softer. It's a bit softer, isn't it? That's fiberglass. So fiberglass is going to be the most gentle of all kinds. And that's like your steel wall. So in terms of your abrasiveness, you're going to give them that way. And they're going to be really good for doing things like cleaning up corrosion off things and cleaning up PCBs. And where I've sort of used it in the past, or rather where I've used this in the past and annoyed people. It's where I've had to do a modification, say, to something like a PCB, just like that. And uh, I want to do something with that tracking, so I would normally just take this and, you know, kind of scrape it a little bit, or I'd take the end of my tweezers or something like that, and then do a kind of okay job, but bad job. This isn't a very fine PCB. You can see it's the, the my nail is almost as thick as that track but on a, on a very small PCB bit of a no-no so let's try with the different materials and see how they fare so this is the fiberglass mm, oh yeah look it is it's sort of very gentle it's a very gentle it is doing it though if I zoom in you will see there is a, a very gentle amount of, a, of uh, lacquer coming off and I'm glad it has this retracting mechanism because you can see when you want to get it back in it's all fluffy like that but you can twist it and it'll suck it back in so the shorter you make it I think the more abrasive it'll be so there if it's just really slightly protruding yeah look, that gives a really that's a really good job I mean that's not going to damage your tracking at all and you could go at that for a while before you damage anything so let's try the brass now and I'm going to leave it about a millimetre or so long. We'll try it here. Yeah, definitely more aggressive. And it's... But it's doing the job too. It's, it's, it's You have to be a bit more controlled. I'd obviously be a bit more careful if you're doing a very fine surface mount PCB. And uh, yeah, that's sort of none the worse for wear. I mean, that was pretty quick. You can see the difference in the time. Now this is the steel. So the steel one. In fact, I think it's a bit too long. I'm just going to shorten that again to about a millimetre or so. Yeah. That's positively gouging it now. That was pretty much instantaneous. So let's have a look, though, under the under the sort of camera. So that's your steel. And you can see there's deep scratches there, but not as deep as obviously using a knife. And that was the brass. The brass is really good very nice finish and then the fiberglass there looks like polish now what you could do though is start with one and then work your way down through the grades so we started with a steel on that one and then you could uh, use just the same way you'd work with sort of sandpapers and you know you start with the 
60 grit, then 80 grit, 100 grit, 1000 grit, 1500 grit. So you could work your way through them if you really wanted to. And that way you'll still get it to the same sort of finish as you would here, but you'd get to it a lot quicker. Um, but again, there is a bit of risk of damage. I mean, you can see the damage radius here is, is quite big. I mean, it, it's extending. I know this isn't going to permanently mark the board, but it's extending about there. Where here you've got that there. This is really quite located. And that is, I'd say it's about the same, really. So there, I really quite like that. Thank you very much, Brian. I uh, am going to forever cherish these. And I like that they, because they retract nicely, they can sit in the old, you know, screwdriver pot and not really get in the way and you're not going to hurt yourself on them. But that is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Really appreciate it. And I'm sure the boys and girls at home now will be running out to buy their own. Ah, let's do some. I was trying to, stop trying to think, let's do some chopstick action with that, but with three tri sticks. That's how I want to eat my sushi. Bye bye. <laughs>